Hi everybody and welcome back. Uh, this is now part four, is it? No. Yeah, I think it is. I forget. Part one, we made the signature. Part two, we added the pockets. Part three, we added the tuck spot. So yeah, this is part four. This is part four already. And today what we're going to do is add belly bands. So let's just go through and see where we would like to add. See what where there's nothing on the whole spread. Like here, for example, there just isn't anything there. So let's add a belly band to that page there. Now, before I go on, I'm going to remove this from the signature and I'm just going to turn that sideways on so I know where to put this one back in. And pop that over to the side. Right, I've decided for this to use, do you remember when I showed you the, um, the fussy cut page? Well, I can tell you now, I am not going to be fussy cutting these images out. I'm just not. But I do like the idea of keeping this. There's a lot of good, useful paper there. Uh, so I'm going to aim for down this end somewhere, if I can. Um, now then, you want the belly band to be... I don't think I can avoid this. Um, I don't want to include any of the doves, although that one's quite nice. Let's just have a look and see how wide we want it to be, first of all. Uh, let's get this the right way up. Um, two inches to me looks like a good size. Let's go for two inches. So I need to cut a piece that is two inches. Let's get the Jolly Green Giant on the job. I don't know why I name all my things, you know, Timmy Trimmer, Jolly Green Giant, whatever. I don't know, but it's like they're my friends, so I feel I have to give them a name. Um, where are we going? In the centre I've got this bit. I'll tell you what, I'm going to cut that bit off first. I'm going to preserve that bit. Where's the edge there? Yeah, about there. So let's cut that off, and that's preserved that bit for me, because I think that could be really useful. So let's keep hold of that. So this is what we've got. Is it long enough for our page? Well, would you look at that? It's absolutely perfect. And I did not measure that beforehand. It's just so happens it's turned out perfectly. Um, so now where to where to cut the belly band? Um, I could get it probably there, but I'd just get their head and what whatever in. I could probably get it there. Yeah, it's gonna have a bird's nest on it, but I think that's okay. So I don't really want this upside down watering can. Daffodils go that way. The watering can's coming this way, so that's not a lot of use to me. So let's just cut that off there. Where's the watering can? There. So just up there. So that's a remnant. It's got this nice piece of paper on there though. Uh, so let's cut that off at two inches. So turn it over. Go along, 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 along till you get to two inches. Make sure it's straight on your score lines here. And the smaller measurements sometimes are more difficult. So really make sure that it's square on, on any grid line that you've got. There we are. That's quite nice, isn't it? I've got the tiniest bit of a bird's beak in there, but I think we'll be all right. I think that's the best I could have done with that paper. It wasn't going to get used as fussy cuts anyway, so you know, done something with it. So that's going to go on there like that. And it's maybe a touch, touch, touch 
like a squiggly insy bit too long but um, it'll be fine right now then I think now is the perfect time to introduce a bit of lace lace is always nice in journals I love lace before we go on to the lace let's just stencil this because you know full well I'm going to forget now then here's where I dropped some brown ink onto it so I'm actually going to just stencil over that I think is the wisest thing to do and it won't take it away but it might disguise it a little bit yeah it's fine um, a little bit at the top and maybe just a titchy bit in there So I hope everybody's keeping up. I don't think we're going too fast. Uh, I think we're going along quite nicely. So that's going to go on there like that. Okay. Um, let me just see. It is just marginally too long. So let me just check that out. Get that square width there. And let's just make the titchiest bit of pencil mark there. I mean, it's it's kind of half or nothing, but it is something. So let's just trim it off. And as I say, bigger scissors very often work better than smaller ones. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. OK, so lace, ladies and gents. Now I've got a lot of lace. I, I, you know, I make junk journals for a living, so I do have lots of most things. Um, but these are some of the whites I've got. That's quite a nice little narrow white. Let's just see what that would look like down the side of there. Well, that's nice, isn't it? It raises it up a level, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that so i'm going to cut my two pieces of lace off and i'm going to cut slightly more than i need just buys me peace of mind and a little bit of wiggle room and this one the same slightly longer not much you know just enough to make you feel com comfortable so what i'm going to do if i stick them there yeah they look nice actually but if I was to stick them underneath, would they look smarter? I don't know, it's hard to tell. That's the one underneath and this is the one on top. Right, well I've decided I'm going to stick them on top and there's a bit of a reason for that, apart from the aesthetics. If you stick these like that underneath, when you stick a journaling card in and it comes to this edge, it'll get caught on that lace. Uh, so you've got, you've, you could put it underneath, but you need to put some tape or something over that. So as the journaling card, when you slide it in, doesn't get stuck. But we're going to circumvent that problem by sticking them to the top. Now, I'm just going to ink with my tea dye across the bottom well i would if i could find my little thing oh no don't tell me the blinking pixies have been the flipping gnomes ah no they haven't it was my fault so i'm just going to ink along the bottom there and ink along the top edge because those are the only edges that you'll see and it's easier to do it now before the lace is on so adding the lace well i'm going to add mine with art glitter glue it's entirely up to you what you use if you've got fabri-tac it's the perfect time to use it because you know obviously the crocheted lace is a fiber but art glitter glue does stick this you need slightly more than you would normally use because the crochet lace 
absorbs it. So get one end right and line it up with some holes in the in the lace so as you don't go too wonkety wonk as you go up. You can see through where the edge of the of the belly band is where, and where you're sticking your lace on. Like there. Okay. So if you're not sure that it's right, just turn it over and make sure that it looks right on that side, that all the holes are where you want them to be. And that's that's fine. I'm happy with that. And just give that a minute to, to dry before you take your scissors to the ends of it. It's just little bits of glue I can see. Uh, and same on the other side. I buy all my crochet lace from AliExpress. The thing about AliExpress is you do have to wait a little while for it to arrive. Um, but it's so much cheaper. So if you can plan ahead to projects that you think you'll be doing, you know, six weeks hence, then yeah, I'd definitely do that. I'm not sure if this has a right and a wrong side. Might be that side. So start just, just off the belly band and try and get it square. So I'm using the holes in the lace to see through where the edge of my belly band is so I can stick this straight because you don't want wobbly lace. Right, so that should be all right. If I turn that over, yeah, that's fine. So just give that, you know, the art glitter dries so quickly. Um, and then take a pair of sharp scissors, should you own such a thing, and just snip off these edges. Don't snip the edges off. Leave the, you know, the extra on until you're ready to stick it down because they will fray and they'll start to look horrid. So leave your extra bit on until you're absolutely ready to stick it down. And then you can, a little bit extra there for some reason. Uh, and then you can glue across them so they won't fray anymore. Right, so I'm gonna put it so the bird's nest's at the bottom. And that's lovely, that's fine there. So. With your art glitter glue again, or, or your glue of choice, it could be Aileen's Tacky Glue, that's a, it's another good glue, it, it, it works, it's fine. And go over onto your lace, and that'll stop it fraying. So just select where you want to put this, and I think about here, looks fairly middle for diddle. And stick that straight on the bottom like that lovely that's great so we've trapped in the bits of lace that might have frayed and looked a bit horrible so then you just come up to the other end just fold that back and glue it glue it over the lace all along the bottom and over that lace and then just smooth it out with your hand and it will naturally follow straight. So there we are. That's that one. So we've got our lace on the top so it's not going to interfere with anything, uh, journaling card or whatever we decide to put in there. Behind it, jobs are good. Right, let's put that back in our journal. So it goes in that way, like that. Is that right? No, I thought that was nearer the back. Must go in that way. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so that's one belly band in. Doesn't it look nice? Looks lovely, actually. I really like it. Um, so let's go towards the back of the journal 
uh, that's the back of the front cover um, yeah this here uh, this is the back page but this has got nothing on it apart from this page here in the middle it's got nothing on it so I think we'll add something to here so yeah this is the front and back cover so let's just do our stenciling I'm really not pressing on here guys I'm just letting the weight of the brush do do the job and you get such a delicate look and try and be random with them I think they look prettier if they're random and maybe just a little bit there Now I'm, I've just got a small stencil, it's tiny, um, and so I'm alright holding it down with my hands like that. If you're not, just get some masking tape and go around the edges so it'll stop your stencil moving. But you'll, you'll become so used to it, particularly little ones like this, you can really hold them very easily. Right, so this one, we are also going to add a belly band to it. And... I like this paper for the job but this time I want to do it across the page so it's a belly band but it's going across not the full length down there so how wide do we want this one um, is two inches going to be all right or an inch and a half I might do it at two inches. I mean, it's going to look pretty then, isn't it? So I want it to to measure. Um, did I just say two or two and a half? No, two is fine. Two inches by, and I want it to be nearly the full width of the page. So our page is five and three quarters. So I'm going to go for five and a half. And that will almost be the full width of the page. So we'll need a piece that's two by five and a half. Okay. So I'm just, I'm going to get the Jolly Green joint. You could use your scalpel again if you wanted to. And I'm just going to get this out. And I'm going to trim off two inches off this side. So line all your lines up. Make sure you're cutting square because it's very easy to go not square. There we are. So another lovely remnant there. And as soon as I've got him out, I want this to be five and a half. So line up your five and a half with the edge of your paper. Like that. Just chop that off and that's a remnant. And this will be our belly band. So that's going to go there like that. How perfect is that? It's pretty perfect, I'd say. So let's add some lace to it as well. Um, I don't have to add the same lace. That's quite a nice little delicate one, that one there. Hmm. No, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to use the same. Let's just keep it the same throughout. And then, you know, you don't feel like you've got to go out buying loads of different lace. Because you don't. One lot will do. You could use cream, you could use pink, you could use whatever colour lace you've got to hand or trim. Uh, I've got quite a lot of white, so I'm just using white. So I'm just going to ink these two side pieces now. I haven't got a lot of ink on the thingy, but enough. Right, same procedure, same, same. 
before I do that, what I am actually going to do is measure half, measure a half. Oops, I don't know what that was. Um, so this measures eight and a quarter. So half of that is four and an eighth. So I'm just going to put a little pencil mark at four and an eighth, which is there. And a little one here at four and an eighth, just there. So that's my, my halfway mark. But now I need to put the halfway mark on this as well, so as I can line those up when I'm ready to glue it on. So it measures two inches, so the halfway mark's an inch. Same over here. There goes my glue. So that's an inch there. So I've got something to line up. When it's, when it's all done and the lace is on, I can line up that mark there with that mark there and that mark there with that mark there. And it should all be hunky-dory. Right, let's get our lace on. So it's exactly the same, it's just we're going the opposite way this time. Just start a little bit with a little bit of spare lace hanging over the edge. And as I say, if you're not going to stick it on instantly, then that will keep the good bit from fraying because the, the bit sticking over the edge will fray, but your good bit won't. Lovely. Other side. Oops, that's very near the edge. So near the edge, it's not on the edge. It's on my mat. So, same here. Just use the holes in the lace as your guide. See through them to the edge of your belly band like that. That's lovely. So then you can come along and chop those off. There we go. And let's glue this down. So it's the two short sides that we want to glue down. And then we've got a horizontal belly band. In my group on YouTube, YouTube, Facebook, listen to me, I don't even know what day of the week it is, um, we call Tummy Tuck, we call Tummy Tucks, we call Belly Bands, get it right, we call Belly Bands Tummy Tucks, because we think, and I think I'm right, that Tummy, Belly Band sounds a bit crass. Bellies are things animals have. So that's that. I've lined up that and I've lined up that. So that should be perfect. So stick all that down and your glue, uh, your lace, and just dab it if you think there's a bit of excess around the place. And let's just rub those marks off while we remember about them so we don't give this to somebody and it's still got our construction marks in it so I hope you feel like you're making really good progress because actually we absolutely are so this is the front cover one isn't it so that goes there like that yeah I mean we really are so today we have made Let's see what we've made. This, which is really pretty, isn't it? That's gorgeous. Um, nothing on there, nothing on there. Nothing in the middle as yet. 
uh, got a side pocket there, our page, and then our uh, horizontal tummy tuck there. So yeah, I mean, they're great. And in the fullness of time, we'll make things to go in them and it'll be lovely. So join me again, please, for part five. We're motoring through this. We're powering through it. So thanks for your company. Join me again when we'll be doing part five. Uh, who knows what that will be, but some other exciting adventure. Thanks for your company, guys. Bye.